I made my own outfit for a rave over the weekend, and the crown specifically got a lot of questions, so here's a little tutorial on how I made my Squishmallow crown. Supplies. You will need a headband, a hot glue gun, and hot glue, a sewing needle, and fishing line. This is 10 or 15 pound, I believe. It is important that the type of headband you use has kind of a cloth covering over it, because uh, we are going to eventually sew the Squishmallows down to the headband after we hot glue them. And seven mini Squishmallows, or toy of your choice. As you can see, this one is in rainbow order. Uh, for this, I'm going to do all pinks, and I just arrange them in kind of a gradient from dark pinky purple all the way to light pink, so that's how they're going to look on the headband. While the hot glue heats up, kind of arrange them how they're going to sit on top of the headband. I'm going to see if I can do this one-handed to film it. So I just put a big old blob of hot glue there, and then put it on the headband in the like top middle part. I need both hands for this, hang on. Okay, so it's in the top, top middle of the headband starting there and just hold it down for a couple seconds till the glue dries. Uh, and then we will work our way out from the middle. So we'll do this one, that one, and then the next, the next, and that kind of keeps it all centered. You wanna make sure you get them right up next to each other so their sides are all touching so there's room for everybody. Okay, so now everybody is glued on there and I'm just gonna let it dry completely. This is where our fishing line and our sewing needle comes in. So I cut off about eight feet of fishing line, threaded it through the needle. I don't tie it in a knot um, because this is pretty thick and if you tie it in a knot, it can get stuck on stuff. I just pulled a couple inches out and kind of folded it over and I hold it there in my hand while I sew to keep it in place. It's very annoying, but I don't have a better solution. Now you can see on the other one, uh, I start by tying it off in a knot to the actual headband. And then I go through and sew everybody down to the fabric, pull it, pull it tight. So you can really only kind of see some of these stitching because uh, I pulled it so tight. But you just go through, it's very sloppy, very messy stitches, stitch all the way through and then stitch all the way back and tie it off again. That's how we're going to do it. I'm going to see if I can show you. Uh, I will do my best. First things first, just do one stitch into the headband, pull it almost all the way through, and then tie it off. Uh, you can do a surgeon's knot or a triple knot. It's a little hard to see here. It's a little awkward where the camera is, but just tie it off and then leave both ends, like leave the long end, but also leave a couple inches of tail on the short end and just let that sit there. Cause once you come all the way back around, you finish sewing, um, you'll just use that extra little bit of string to tie it off at the very end. Once you've got the knot tied, uh, yeah. just put another stitch into the headband like this, pull it all the way through, and then start stitching your Squishmallows down to the headband. I don't know the names of any stitches or anything like that. I don't have any formal training on sewing, but the good news is fishing line is clear and they are hot glued down to the headband, so they don't have to be perfect. Um, I usually try to put like between two to five stitches in each Squishmallow as I go across. I think probably if I had a tapestry needle, these would be a little easier to make, but as it is, sometimes I do have to break out the pliers. This is just for like if a, the needle gets stuck in a spot and won't move forward, um, I can use the, the pliers to kind of force it through and then pull it from the other side, and it gives me a little better control. Here's a close-up on the stitching so far. You just pull that tight and repeat it for the entire headband. All right, so we started here. We went all the way around. We're coming out here, and now I'm just going to sew... Uh, all the way back. I don't even have to sew into the Squishmallows, just basically running the string all the way back up through to hit this original knot. Now we're back here at the beginning, and I'm going to just tie off the long end of the string with the short end of the string in a triple knot, and then I'm going to put some Gorilla Glue over the top of the knot, let it dry there, and that will make it hold in place like super, super, super secure so that it doesn't come undone. But we've got a couple different layers of protection here. We've got the hot glue, we've got the fishing line that sews everything down, and then we've got the Gorilla Glue on top of the knots. Ta-da! That's how you make a Squishmallow headband. Uh, it is not the best tutorial I've ever made, but it is probably the only one I'm going to make for this because they are truly a pain in the ass to try and film while I'm sewing. I hope this was helpful.